Hi, it's Wendy. Today I'm going to show you some of my North American animal figurines. Which is your favorite animal? Subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner for more animal videos. Turn on notifications. North American River Otter. The otter is a semi-aquatic mammal and is equally versatile in the water and on land. The otter's favorite food is fish. The squirrel family includes ground squirrels, tree squirrels, marmots, chipmunks, groundhogs, flying squirrels, and prairie dogs. They are the heaviest members of the squirrel family. Marmots are large ground squirrels. These herbivores are active during the summer. They are not seen in the winter as they hibernate underground. Badgers can be found in southern British Columbia, in all the prairie provinces, and Ontario. Badgers have long, strong claws and are able to create dens. Arctic hares are found in northern Canada. They live north of the tree line in tundra regions across Canada. They are very fast. They can bound at speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. There are four species of fox in Canada. Red, gray, swift, and arctic fox. Foxes eat rodents, frogs, insects, seeds, fruit, eggs, and some poultry. Mallard ducks are best known as wild duck. Mallard ducks winter in southern Ontario and southern British Columbia. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner for more videos. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Grizzly Bear, also known as the North American Brown Bear. Grizzly bears do not reach sexual maturity until they are five years old. Male and female bears may spend days courting each other before mating. A grizzly bear will mount the female for attempted copulation. Grizzly bears hibernate for up to seven months each year. During this time, the female grizzly will give birth to her offspring. They consume milk from the mother and gain strength for the hibernation period. You can find them in my neck of the woods. A grizzly bear can live up to 22 years. A female is slightly longer at 26 years of age. Black bears will stay out of the way of grizzly territory. Grizzlies may enter black bear terrain for food. Both grizzly and black bear eat pine nuts, mushrooms, berries, and acorns. When a black bear sees a grizzly coming, it will turn and run or climb a tree. Black bear's mating season occurs in the summer. For mammals to fertilize an egg, sexual reproduction needs to take place. After copulation, sperm needs to fertilize the egg and the egg continues to grow inside the body. Polar bears are the largest land carnivore. The male polar bear can grow two to three times the size of a female. The largest male polar bear weighed 2,209 pounds and measured 12 feet long. The polar bear's coat can vary in color from pure white to yellow to light brown, depending on the season. Polar bears have 42 teeth used for catching food and for aggressive behavior. The polar wolf, also known as the arctic wolf or white wolf, is a subspecies of gray wolf. The top ranking alpha and beta females in a pack will be allowed to mate and reproduce. Arctic wolves live above the northern tree line. Gray wolves or timber wolves. They're a mix of gray and brown. The color can vary from solid to white or black. Which is your favorite wild animal? Moose, they are the largest member of the deer family. They can stand six foot tall and weigh more than a thousand pounds. Moose, mating begins in the third week of September. 
Male moose grow antlers. They are shovel shaped with pointed tips. Rut begins in late August after a cow moose has spent the summer feeding. Their diet consists of terrestrial and aquatic vegetation. Moose are browsing herbivores. They consume many types of plant or fruit. The most common predators of moose are bears, wolves, and humans. Elk feed on grasses, plants, leaves, and bark. They have thick bodies with slender legs and short tails. In the fall, elk grow a thick coat of hair which helps insulate them during the winter months. Rutting bulls fight for the right to mate with cows and to pass on their genes. The elk is also known as wapiti. They are one of the largest species of the deer family. Male elks have impressively large antlers. They are a highly vocal ungulate. If threatened, the cows give off sharp barks to warn the rest of the group. Native Americans of the Great Plains relied on buffalo for thousands of years. They lived migratory lives following the great herds of buffalo. For Native Americans, their teepees were made out of buffalo skin. Their hides were their bed or winter coat. Not a part of the buffalo was wasted. They would use the skin to make water bags. Sinew made bowstrings and thread. Ribs were made into sleds for children, and hooves became rattles. Subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner for more animal videos. Cougars are a large cat native to North and South America. They are an ambush predator, pursuing a wide variety of prey, including ungulates like deer, also insects and rodents. Cougars are very territorial. They live in low population densities. The cougar has many names, also mountain lion, puma, catamount, panther, and painter. The highest concentration of deer are found in the Canadian Rocky Mountains and the Columbia Mountains. Males are called buck and females are called doe. The youngest is called a fawn. Deer are found in many different ecosystems. They can live in wetlands, forests, deciduous, grasslands, rainforests, scrublands, and mountains. Deer are very social. They travel in groups called herds, led by a dominant male. Although some species are segregated by sex, sometimes the females have their own herds and the males have a separate herd. Deer are mostly active throughout the day. They are herbivores and spend most of the day foraging for food. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner for more animal videos. Turn on notifications. Click on a picture to watch another video from Cotton Candy Corner. See you in my next video. Bye.